everyone, I'm Marina. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here for a shop update preview. The shop update will be this Friday, May 7th at 8 p.m. Eastern time at pineappleyarn.com. I will have a restock of a candle, some fiber, and loads of colorways. Before I begin all that, I'd like to remind you that because it's the beginning of the month, we have all new clubs in the shop this month. So we have our mini mystery club, which is a set of three mystery mini skeins in your choice of base, either Lonnie Sock, which is a fingering weight yarn, and Lonnie DK, which is a DK weight yarn. Both are 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon. So you can use them for socks, shawls, hats, accessories, whatever. They are so versatile. So we have that mystery club. We also have My Sun Club, which is a bold and bright neon club. It is not for the faint of heart. It's usually very bold, very bright, super fun and uplifting. And it will match the mood board shown here. And it is just so gorgeous this month. I love it and I can't wait to dye it up. I think it's going to be really fun, punchy, bright, vibrant, and yeah, totally matches summer. <laughs> I also have my glow club, which is my yarn and candle club. Now, for those of you who might be just in the market for a candle, I also offer this just as the candle. So it's a great way if you're not looking to beef up your yarn stash, but you light the candle in your home or to, in the office or to give as a gift, it's a really great idea. So this month we have Coastal Storm, which is just, part of life here on the coast and <laughs> it's going to be a really I, I picture it as like a really moody storm like colors darker colors uh well like the mood board here I'm basically <laughs> the coastal storm scent is going to be just as described it is full of fresh air white flowers it is it has that fresh air, but it's very grounded as well. And I think it's just a really fresh blend. I love it. There's more details in the listing, which I'll link down below in case you want to see all of the scents that make up this scent. I'm also offering my advent calendar for 2021. It is Sea Breeze. It's a beautiful, beautiful gradient and fade through all these colors that are shown on the mood board. You can read about more details. I have sold um, a little over half so far and I have had, I've offered them a month. <laughs> so it's a little crazy. Um, if you are in the market, you think you potentially might want one. Um, I would highly recommend purchasing the pre-order as soon as you can, because I want to make sure everyone who wants one can get it. Um, they're extremely labor intensive. And so I always do it far in advance to make sure that I have enough time. So you get it on time in the fall. The last club I want to highlight, uh, I saved it for the end because I think it's super exciting. It is a fiber of the month club. It is my fiber club. It's going to be a mystery club. There will be no mood board. And I am super excited about this. I've had so many people request uh, a monthly fiber club. I think a lot of you are like me. You love those bold, bright, vibrant, colorful tones. Um, I love fiber that's dyed kind of randomly and speckled. And so this is a chance for me to work my art magic on fiber and I couldn't be more excited. I will be offering it in a superwash merino and nylon blend as well as a mystery fiber each month. So you can choose between the two. Uh, the mystery fiber will not be repeated uh, for at least three months. So you'll have some variety and it will be a non superwash blend like Polworth or Cordale or Rambouillet, something just super fun to spin. Those are some of my favorite fibers. And so I want to pass on all the woolly love to you. <laughs> and so if you're in the market for fiber, definitely check that out. All of my clubs that I talked about 
are available as a one-time purchase as well as a monthly subscription. I love being able to offer that because you can try it out with no risk and then if you decide that that's something you want to treat yourself to once a month, you can sign up for a subscription and you never miss a club, which is so great. It's so nice to have something to treat yourself. The first item that I'll have in the shop is a restock of my natural candle. I can't say that this is my natural scented candle because it has no scent in it. All of my candles are a recipe that I've developed using beeswax and coconut oil. And this is a really special candle. I call it natural because it only has beeswax and coconut oil and no other ingredients, no added scents, nothing. So what you get is the um, enjoyment of having a candle and you have no scent added. So this is really great if you're sensitive to scents, if you just want the ambiance of a candle or if you just love that fresh natural beeswax scent. This is so wonderful. So I will have these restocked in the shop. I'm gonna go ahead and share some fiber now with you. This is my colorway Peachy Day and I have it braided up for you. I just took photos of it and that's why it's braided, but it will come um, unbraided and loosely packaged for you. And this is the Superwash Merino Nylon Blend. It is a beautiful, beautiful blend of kind of Tiffany blue, deeper greens, bright peaches, as well as this natural white color. There, This is a one of my favorite colorways. It's just so, so beautiful. I love it. And let me show it to you on a Coradale wool top. This is just so beautiful. As you can tell, it is uh, different dyeing on a non-superwash fiber. So I'll put these side by side. And you can see the dye strikes very, very quickly on a superwash fiber and not so quickly on a non-superwash. So you get a little bit different uh, different effect, but it's still just so beautiful. I love, love Cordale. It is a wonderful fiber for those who want uh, an easy spinning experience. <laughs> if you've been spinning a while, it is a wonderful fiber for beginner spinners. So um, I love this fiber, it's so great. So Peachy Day on Superwash Merino Nylon and Coredale. My next is a colorway that was inspired by the shirt I'm wearing. And it, uh, cleverly enough, is called Like My Shirt. I, I know, it is it is what it is, so we're just going to stick with it. <laughs> but it is a really beautiful, vibrant blend of purples and pinks and blues as well as some undyed areas, which just really adds to the interest. And this is like my shirt on Superwash Merino Nylon. And I will also have it on Coredale. And I just love how this Coredale uh, dyed up. I think it's really pretty. The pinks really came out on this fiber. I just think that that is so beautiful. And I've worn this shirt so many times that like the lavender and pinks have kind of washed out but it lives on in my fiber and yarn, so it's all good. <laughs> this is like my shirt. The final fiber I will have for you this week is pink sea glass. And as you can tell, it just has all the really beautiful, beautiful colors of pink sea glass. If you're familiar with that colorway, I carry it in the shop and it's always, it's a huge uh, customer favorite 
but it has beautiful jade greens and purples and pinks, little pops of brights. And so this is it on Superwash Merino Nylon. And then here it is on Cordale. And I think it came out so beautiful and vibrant on the Cordale. I think it's really, really pretty. So this is pink sea glass. On to yarn, <laughs> I wanted to show you, I will be having minis in the shop of all of my colorways that are out of minis um, that I will be restocking. So Bay Breeze, Ala Moana, which is my fifth anniversary colorway, uh, kind of bringing it back, it's a throwback. And I've never dyed this on minis before, so I will have it on minis, which is really exciting. Starting off with tonals, I will be adding some more pink hibiscus to the shop. This is a beautiful, deep, yet vibrant pink, and it looks just like uh, a certain variety of hibiscus flower. It is so beautiful. And I'm using this right now to knit up my Good Vibes shawl. And let's see, I am using I Heart Beach Glass with it, and it is a beautiful pairing. I am super happy with it. As a matter of fact, I just bound off on the shawl and it's soaking right now. So uh, yeah, I'll be sharing that next week on my pineapple knits episode, which is so fun. So anyway, pink hibiscus will be restocked. I will have it on Lonnie Sock as well as Lonnie DK. The next tonal I'll have is clear water. It's such a beautiful, beautiful um, kind of aqua, turquoisey color. This goes with so many different colorways that are in my shop. Um, I kind of came upon it as an accident and these colors glazed over each other and they just came out to be this most beautiful, vibrant shade. And I couldn't help but add it to the shop because it was so beautiful. So this looks really, really beautiful with Bay Breeze. I feel like it's a really versatile tonal because I think it goes with a lot of different colorways. Um, here it is with Waikiki. This is a really great uh, speckled colorway. Uh, this would look great with a pattern like the Good Vibes shawl. Um, with that shawl I'm using a tonal and a speckled. So those two look really nice together. I also like it with Island Capiz. This is one of my favorites, I came up with this color last year and it's so beautiful. It is kind of a melon color, but it just has lots of pops of bright speckles, which it's it's just a really uplifting colorway. So these two look really great together. I also like it with C Prize. It really brings out this kind of aqua turquoisey color in C Prize and uh, it, would just be a really pretty in like a fade or if you want to pair a tonal and a speckle together. Last one I'm going to put this one with, this is I'll Be Back. And there aren't any exact matching tones of clear water in this, but there is a turquoise and there is kind of a minty green in it. And so clear water kind of ties those two blue greens together, looks really, really good. I'm going to move on to my colorways now, my fun speckled colorways. The first colorway is kind of a new colorway. <laughs> and um, it actually was from my March 2020 Sun Club. I don't always bring back colorways from my clubs. Sometimes I just fall in love with a colorway. I write them all down and so I'm able to bring them back if I need to. This one was from March 2020, which admittedly a lot of us would like to kind of forget March 2020 and put it in the past, but th this was a bright spot from last March. This is called Mint Julep, and it's a beautiful, delicate yet bright punch of minty greens and these delicate neon speckles. This is so gorgeous. I, I cannot tell you how much I love this colorway. And I knew as soon as I dyed it and kind of saw it come to life last year that I really had to bring it back. So 
it came back a year later, <laughs> a little over a year later. Now, as far as tonals that would go with this, I think uh, Glowworm would go well with it. The greens are different, but it still would be a really uh, bright punch together. I think if you wanted to go for just two colors that are just beautiful together, you could do bubble gum with mint julep and it complements it perfectly. It looks so pretty together. So those two definitely look gorgeous. And then I think if you wanted to go for like a really high contrast, I would put coral conch with it. And even though um, I think the pink is, the bubblegum pink is more um, complimentary to it, this is just such a high contrast. I think a uh, really punchy shawl, kind of like a Stephen West design or something with a lot of contrast like stripes, something like that, these two would be so, so pretty together. And you know that coral conch is basically my favorite color. <laughs> it's hard to it's hard to say what my favorite color is, but definitely this is this it's probably top. So I will have mint julep on all of the bases, Lonnie Sock, Lonnie DK, Gold Nani Twist, and Noe Mohair Silk. I wanted to show you how beautiful this mohair is. Isn't that a beautiful oh I think it's so pretty it really died up just gorgeous. So this is mint julep. Um, I will also have it on minis as well. My next colorway that will be in the shop update is pink sea glass. And like I said earlier, pink sea glass is such a fan favorite. It's a beautiful colorway. And as I was thinking uh, about what would go with it, I do think that clear water, and where did I put that? Here we go. Clear water is definitely a beauty to go with this colorway. It's, it looks so good together. But I also thought that Glowworm on the mohair silk base would be so beautiful with these. I would love to see how that knits up. It would just add such a gorgeous, vibrant glow to an already very vibrant colorway. So I've talked about pink sea glass in previous uh, updates, and so I won't go on too much about it, but just know that it, it will be restocked. My next colorway is Bay Breeze, and I brought this back last week, and or two weeks ago, excuse me, and y'all loved it so much, I thought I would bring it back again. This is a beautiful blend of greens and blues, speckles, it's bright, it's super happy, and I will have it on the mohair silk. So beautiful. If you're looking for some coordinates, here is Glowworm. A little more yellow based, but definitely in the same color family. Same with this, this is Bright Mint. It is a little bit more pale, but definitely within the same color family as Bay Breeze. And then of course, Clearwater just really is a beautiful complement to this colorway. And as I was kind of uh, packing some of these yarns and organizing them, I thought, wow, aren't these two pretty together? Bay Breeze and Pink Sea Gloss. I thought that those two were so pretty. They share some of uh, the similar kind of turquoise aqua that's in uh, the yarn. And so they really complement each other as well as a beautiful contrast with each other. So Bay Breeze is back. Another favorite that I just brought back is Ala Moana. This is one of the, if not the, very first colorway I ever sold in pineapple yarn. And that was a little over five years ago at this point. And so I brought it back for my fifth anniversary um, on a limited basis. And I decided this week to go ahead and dye it up across all the bases because it's just a really beautiful, beautiful colorway and it's soft and it's springy. I also dyed it on Noe Mohair Silk. This is beautiful on the Noe base. It's really, really gorgeous. I would love to see this Mohair Silk paired with Pale Peach because 
layered over that, it would just give it the most soft and comforting blend. You have these creamy peaches, pale grays, and then you just have these pops of a really delicate gold. And it's just beautiful. This colorway is really nice. I also have it on minis as well, so that's really fun. You could also pair this with an undyed skein of yarn and it would be beautiful. In this shop, I would also look for uh, pearl and oyster. Those two are my grays and they would look beautiful with Ala Moana. So I will have that across all bases, Lani Sock, Lani DK, Gold Nani Twist, and the Noe Mohair Silk. So check that out if you're looking for a beautiful spring project. And speaking of spring, spring projects, I am restocking Peachy Day. Uh, I mentioned it earlier with my fiber, and here it is on my Lani Sock base. I just love these blends of greens and peaches. This one has some bright speckles that really add an interest to the yarn. And I think it looks really, really good with Ala Moana. You could definitely pair those two together. That'd be super, super pretty in a fade. It looks great with pale peach. It looks great with, let's see, I think bright mint really brings out some of the brighter tones in it if you didn't want to tone it down. Um, now, if you did want to tone it down, again, I would maybe pair it with an undyed skein of yarn. It would also look really great with a gray like pearl or oyster. So peachy day is being restocked. The last colorway I alluded to with my shirt and with my fiber, <laughs> but this is a colorway called Like My Shirt. I was coming up with new colorways. I was actually wearing this shirt, so Like My Shirt was born. It's a really beautiful blend of royal blues, light blues, lavender, and lots of tonal speckles. I really love this color, and I picked out a couple of pairings that look gorgeous with it. I love it, love it, love it with poolside. Now I don't have any poolside stocked in the shop. Of course I have my dyed to order listing, but I will be restocking this in a future shop update, most likely the next shop update. So these two just absolutely complement each other. So beautiful. Clearwater too, it just, oh, it just looks so beautiful. I would love to maybe see these all together. I think those would be really, really pretty. Here is sea urchin with it. Now I really, really, really love sea urchin with it. Sea urchin is a very pale, kind of gray lavender or lavender gray. It would be beautiful with pearl if you wanted to go that way. It really would look beautiful, but I love sea urchin with this. It just, these two colors really make me happy. Obviously they're exactly the color of my shirt, so <laughs> I couldn't go wrong, but those definitely look good together. I do have a colorway called Profound in the shop and it is kind of like an indigo violet color. And so you can see those three look super good together. I really like this. This looks really, really pretty together. And here it is on the Noe Mohair Silk. It's so pretty. I just, I love this. So pretty. So it will be stocked in all the bases again and minis. And so if whatever you're looking for, it will be in the shop on Friday. Well, that is it. That's what I'll have for the update this week. Again, the update will be on Friday, May 7th at 8 p.m. Eastern time at pineappleyarn.com. I will be sending out a newsletter with all of the photos of these colorways and items so you can take your time and look and see what works with you with your stash, with your projects coming up. So if you haven't signed up for my newsletter, pop on over to pineappleyarn.com and at the very top of the page, you can enter your email address. It's That's all I use your email for, so rest assured it is safe with me. I send out a newsletter about every two weeks. 
I hope you're doing well where you are. I hope you're enjoying all of your knitting and crafting. I will see you in another two weeks for a shop update video, and I will see you next week for an episode of Pineapple Knits. But until then, I hope you have an awesome day. Bye.